What's up, Internet? Excuse my double chin in driving, but um, I have you set up in a safe place so I can talk to you. Really debated on making any type of video content about the election. If you follow me, you know where I stand. And so this video isn't necessarily to like convince anybody of anything. This is a place for those that are like, hey, I feel alone. Hey, I feel really devastated to see certain family members and friends go a certain way and you feel alone and I've seen all the trends of like how uh, you know I'm going out to cast a vote to cancel out my father or whatever that person may be in your life and it's trendy and it's like you feel like you did your part but at the end of the day once you hit upload you're kind of still left with the feeling of yeah, but that's incredibly draining and sad that that's your reality. It's almost like you're you're mourning the loss of people that are still with us because you feel like they have gone so far in the direction of hate and bigotry and oppression and fear-mongering and, and you can't talk to them anymore. I mean, I could, I could say the same thing. I don't talk to my father. My father and I are not on speaking terms at all, really. We don't talk on the phone. I don't see him with everything that um, that he has done to our family. For some reason, thought deep, deep, deep in my heart, maybe despite all of the bad choices he made and all of the things that have been done that I look at him and think, I don't know who you are, I thought deep down, he cares about people of color. He cares about the gay community. He cares about the oppressed because he knows me and he knows that a lot of those people are the people that are in my life, the people that I'm close to, the people that I have lived with and uh, friends and my core circle of people are super represented in the communities that will be oppressed if a certain candidate wins. And I reached out to him thinking, I, I was grasping at straws, hoping I would get some type of like morsel of, well, at least deep down, this person is a good person. And I asked who they were voting for, and he was like, I'm undecided. And I was like, I know exactly what that statement means he doesn't want to say that he's voting for you know who and it, I was just gutted all over again so I want everyone to know that like I understand feeling like there are people in your life that you have looked up to and loved and cherished and you have memories of and over the last eight to ten years you've been shocked repeatedly and you've debated and you've tried to reason with them and you feel like you're talking to a wall and then you grapple with the concept of is this who they've always been and they just didn't voice it in this way or had they been coerced to eventually lean into these characteristics? Regardless, I want to open up the comment section just for those that are feeling like you're going through loss, you're going through turmoil, because we're so close to this election. And I have a really good feeling about how it's going to turn out, but that doesn't erase the pain and the frustration that everyone's feeling. Because I saw the rally at Madison, Madison Square Garden. I saw what was said about Puerto Rico. I saw what was said about Palestinian children. I saw what was said about women. And it's just, it was not a rally of hope and unity and hey, we're America and we stand for wonderful values and for caring for those in need like it was not a rally about that it was a rally that was focused on the lowest denominator of that base which are people that don't care for the foreigner and they don't care about 
uh, women's rights. They don't view it as women's rights. They, they view it as a black and white issue, not an issue of women's health care. They don't care about how their rhetoric can hurt people. And I just want you guys to know that I'm with you and I felt the pain too because I, I went on to Facebook and I saw how people were still still after that I showed clips from it and people on Facebook were like well I still think that Trump is is the best thing for this country what happened when COVID came out and Trump the top dog said negative things towards the Chinese community uh, violence happened against all Asians because of rhetoric, because of neg negative comments and derogatory statements. And when I saw the thing at Madison Square Garden about, you know, Puerto Rico being a floating trash island, it just makes me think, God, man, this is why, this is why you need a, a president who is mindful of their speech and language because what they say can rally again the lowest denominator person the person like if both sides have all spectrums of people right but if you're gonna rally the worst people in your base who are prone to violence and you give them permission to hate on a certain group of people or to view a certain group of people as less than bad things are gonna happen violence is gonna happen when Trump said it was China's fault, the Asian community, they were attacked. When that whole base goes out and like makes fun of any type of tan-skinned person coming into America, violence happens, hate happens, and it's infuriating because I'm married to someone God, I don't want to get, I'm not going to get emotional. Told myself before I hit record that I'm not going to get emotional. To those that are hurting, to those that are frustrated, to those that are mourning what feels like the loss of people that are still alive that seem to have just embraced this. I'm with you. I see you. You're not alone. And, and it is hard. And it does suck. And it is heartbreaking and it is devastatingly life-changing to see this happen to families and friends. Voting to protect women and minorities and people of color is the right thing to do, obviously. I am proud of you. I don't know if anyone said that. I'm proud of you if you've stood up and said I'm voting for what I think is right because I don't care if they, you know, want to point a finger and say, you know, God would be disappointed or you're a bad Christian or X, Y, Z. They're wrong. They're just wrong. They've got it wrong. There are a lot of us that are proud, especially of the young people or the people that have never voted before who decided I'm voting this time. I'm proud of you for doing what's right. And for those that haven't voted yet, and you're waiting till the day of, don't forget to vote. Go vote. Because who's at the top sets the tone for what happens for everyone else. Words matter, setting an example matters, and putting someone and an entire party of people back in power that are known for speaking so negatively about so many groups of people is dangerous. And so we need to do our part in putting the right people at that position. So go vote and know that everyone in this comment section, uh, we're here and I'm proud of you. And a lot of us are proud of you. So I'm going to go to the gym and blow some steam off because I know what it's like to feel like 
you're just constantly shocked or disappointed in people that you love. Be nice to yourselves. Be nice to people, especially the people you don't know, the people that need help. They're not going to get help when they are demonized. Comment section, please take care of each other and don't, don't let it become a free for all. This is a place not for arguing, but for support and for those expressing, hey, I, this is what I'm going through. This is the person I feel like I've lost or my friends or my family or my church or whatever. That's what this video is for is to rally you guys to stand with each other and support one another. One another, sorry. Uh, be nice to people, be nice to yourselves, and au revoir.